Having selected Biological and Agricultural Index Plus from the library's selection of databases on its homepage, you'll see the very familiar EBSCOhost search interface. We have three boxes to search in. We can select the fields in which we want to search for those keywords. And we, down below, we have the search options area, which allows you to limit by date, by full text, uh, by publication, and, and other options that are available as well. Typically, when I run a search in EBSCOhost, doesn't matter which database it is, I start with my subject searching. So in this case, since we're in a biological and agricultural index, I'm going to look up a related subject like soil management. I can do that search again within a particular field, like a subject field. But to start, I'm just going to use the select a field optional, which is really just a keyword search. It will search for those search terms everywhere. In this case, I have 5,125 results. And to the left, I can select whether it's a linked full text, a scholarly peer-reviewed journal, or a PDF full text. I can also select by date. Now, Biological and Agricultural Index Plus covers around 100 journals in full text. Those journals in full text go back to 1997. The indexing within this collection includes a total of 380 publications. So what that means is it will tell you about articles from over 380 publications, and of those 380 publications, 100 of those will be provided to you in full text. So what you may see in your result list is a mixture of PDF full text links, as we see in the first result, or as in the second one, we'll see that there's a blue search tab, which allows you to search all of LLCC resources and request that item from another database or through our interlibrary loan process. By clicking on that blue tab, you'll be taken to uh, our system, which provides a little bit more information about the article itself. And then you'll see that down below it says how to get this. If it were provided in a different database, it would link you to that database in this area. Since this is the first time I'm accessing our search and discover portion of our web resources, I'm going to sign in. I'm an LLCC user, and it will use my Lincoln Land ID and password to log me into this system. Once it knows who I am and which institution I'm associated with, it will then repopulate that link section to show me that I can get this through Interlibrary Loan. I would request this article through Interlibrary Loan. It fills out an article form for me. I put in my first last name, email address, and then I can review and submit that. Again, that's just if the article is not available through this index in full text. Other articles will be available in full text, and I can always limit to those options here to the left if I'm not interested in seeing those blue tabs. It will, of course, reduce the number of results I'm seeing, but all of these results should have PDF full text available. That's a general overview of the Biological and Agricultural Indexes Plus resource. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to your Lincoln Land librarian. We're always happy to help. Take care.